Welcome back to my channel guys and today I'm going to be doing a portfolio update. So if you are new here please hit that subscribe button, I do weekly portfolio updates as you guys requested it and seem to really love them. So it's been a bit of a mad week with the stock market because of what's happening with Wall Street bets and the hedge funds. There could be a correction happening with the market but we don't know exactly just yet. So it has been an interesting week and it could be another interesting week next week. If you do want to get into trading or into stocks or investing then I've got a link in the description on Trading212. You can get a free stock worth up to £100 and so can I actually if you use the link. So link in the description if you want to do that. So I've also made a Discord group as people have requested that. It'll be a link in the description. I'm quite new to Discord so when you do join it let me know how I can make it better and set it up better and things. So yeah. There's a link in the description to my Discord if you want to join that. All right, let's get into the stocks that you've all been waiting for. So this is my first portfolio. This is my long-term holding one. This is the ISA on Trading212. I'm up £6,732, which is amazing. My return is 1020 which is crazy. But actually, during the week, it was a lot more. There was once where I was nearly up £2,000. So... <laughs> I've experienced a bit of a crazy week, like I said. So the first stock is Alibaba. It's just not really moving. I keep it's just it's just staying a bit like up and down, up and down. It's not it's not really doing much. So yeah, minus twenty four pound on that. Apple. I can't believe what's really happening to be honest. It's had a massive drop when they did their record earnings of a hundred billion plus, and it's just dropped dramatically. And that's just the market selling off because of what's happening, like I said, in the stock market at the moment. There's, it looks like there could be a correction like happening. Hopefully in the next week, we can see it rising again. Aston Martin, up £27, 107%, not bad. AT&T, just not doing great. <laughs> Minus £82, FX Impact hitting me bad on this one. So Barrack Development, I've got nine shares, up £7 with that, 14%. Beyond Meat, I'm up 33%, £35. This has done quite well recently. I think in the last week it's gone up like 25% or something, so it's done really well for me. Bio Nano, um... 46 shares I've got of this, £191 I'm up, 104%. I am thinking, by the way, as well, to let you guys know that if they do another share offering, I might buy then because, yeah, they just drop dramatically. And I think, and that's what I've been doing, I've just been buying when they have massive dips and that's when they do share offerings. So whenever their next share offering is, which I believe they will do another one soon, I'm going to be buying then, I reckon. But I've, I've got to be careful at the moment because of what I said about the correction of the market. We we don't know what's kind of going on at the moment because what's been going on recently is kind of an unheard of what's happening. So yeah, I'm being very careful this week. CCIV, the, the SPAC stock that could be merging with Lucid Motors. And I really hope it does because that would be amazing. Could end up seeing this to 60 to $80 a share. I'm up 65 pound, 27% at the moment with this, but yeah. That one, I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. Palantir's been amazing during the week, actually. It hit like $42, if not more, maybe. I'm not too, I'm not 100% sure, but it has had a massive drop on the Friday. And I'm down to 700, I say down, I'm up 770 pound, 33%. But I was up a lot more at one point. I think it was up like 1,200 on this stock once. I've made some videos on that if you want to hear some more news about Palantir and what I think about Palantir and what I'm going to be doing with Palantir. Check out my other videos. All right, Realty Income, 10 shares of this. I'm up £8, nearly 2%. And then the S&P 500 just got like eight shares of that. So this is my invest account. I have to always go over this because people ask me this all the time. This was my first portfolio when I started getting into investing. So there's about three, three to four stocks that I first bought into back last year. And I just haven't sold them. I've just kept them kept it in the invest account but yeah that's just a little brief overview i'm up 405 pound on this 13.81 percent i believe i have dropped about two to three hundred pound with this portfolio so and that's just due to apple which i'm trade i'm trading it still and another trade i'm doing and then also neo kind of dropping off a bit but yeah so the the first one is Apple again, and this is one where I'm trading. I was up like fifty pound, and now I'm now I'm up seven pound sixty five. It's just dropped off massively, and it's just like I said because of what's happening with Wall Street bets 
and just the market correcting, you could say possibly Boeing up 44 pound, 18 percent, not too bad. BP, I'm actually, I'm really torn of just selling this and just putting that money into something else that I know will have, will actually grow quicker to be honest with you because BP like this was just one of my first ever picks when I first bought stocks and I just thought oh it's dropped loads I'm gonna buy into it and that's not the way to invest sometimes <laughs> and now that's what I've learned and I just I think I'm probably worth using that £245 into another stock so that's what I'm thinking about at the moment so you might not see this in next week's portfolio. Delta up 46%, £52 not too bad. Neo up 23%, £275. This one has dropped quite a bit recently for me anyway like I was up 400 and something pound before with this and it's just dropped a bit but I'm not too worried anyway they've had some price upgrades they've had another price upgrade to $80 a lot of them are $80 price targets now so yeah that's very interesting to know all right this is my other trade and you guys are probably thinking if you're new god this guy cannot trade and to be honest with you yeah I'm, I'm new to trading right I like doing the investing but I also want to have a bit of like you could say fun trading some stocks and snowflake minus 26 pound and to be honest with you the the technicals you could say when you're looking at the graph and where you think it's going to predict to go in <clears throat> they all look good and set up for a big a big bounce and a big rise with this stock as it's been selling off for ages and if you look at the macd's it's about to cross on the daily so long term this could do well and like i said i know it's easy to say but it just doesn't help with what the market's doing at the moment selling off so and it's just not helping snowflake whatsoever but i'm keeping it i'm holding on to it and we'll see how it does next week virgin galactics done absolutely brilliantly 91 percent and i've heard that wall street bets have been interested in using the stock and buying it up but i don't know how true that is it was just something i saw on the internet i'm just holding it anyway because i just i think it's going to be so cool having people fly out to space and you can buy tickets to go out to space in the future i just think it's quite cool to hold and this was actually one of my first ever stocks i ever bought in my investment journey all right so now i'm going to calculate how much my overall portfolios are put together and yeah so my total for my two portfolios is ten thousand and seventy four pound it hasn't actually moved that much i think it's gone up 30 pounds or something within the week and that's just due to what's happening in the stock market i'm quite lucky that it hasn't actually dropped if i'm honest because a lot of people's portfolios would have dropped quite a bit depending on what you've been holding but because of the stocks i've been holding i've been holding like you could say the hype stocks or the stocks that aren't really blue chip companies like i don't the only blue chip company i hold is apple i believe i think i can't, I can't remember off the top of my head but I, th I think that's the standout one yeah yeah i think it's apple so yeah if i was holding the microsoft even like tesla apple that are all in like the s p 500 yeah my portfolio probably would have had a bigger big drop in fact because i don't that I'm guessing that's why, to be honest. Like I said, during the week, there was a point where I probably would have been up 11 odd thousand pound with my portfolio. Um, I reckon 11,200, which was mad, but because of what's happened, like I keep saying, I'm at 10,074. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy my video, please give it a like. Also, if you are new here and want to check out these videos weekly, because I am posting these weekly, um, subscribe to my channel and you can keep up to date with my trades that I'm doing and also just how my portfolio is reacting to the market. So if you find that interesting and want to follow my journey, subscribe and yeah, I'll see you guys next week.